Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And today our topic is the restoration of all things. We have made a video containing that everything will go back to paradise and that all is about paradise. If you have not seen it, please go to our YouTube channel and check the videos that you have made. It was just recently, so you will find it. It is all about paradise. It's a very informative and important video. Now today I will show you an image PDF, show you that we have started in paradise at Genesis and that we will end at paradise and how over the time the, 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 the ways have changed. Now we were progressing forward, then we had a tipping point and from the tipping point we entered the end times and we will end in paradise and in complete unity with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and our Father, Abba Father, Jehovah Jireh. So let us go to this PDF to see, to show you how it is. Here on the left side of this PDF, it is back to the future, what I call it. On the left side, you see down here the creation. Then after the creation of the world came paradise and Adam and Eve were created and Adam and Eve walked with God the Father together and Jesus and the Holy Spirit in paradise openly. This is how God has designed it and how it should be. Then we had Satan coming in into paradise and this fall, the chasing out of the paradise Adam was and Eve were not allowed to return and the cherub was placed at the entrance with the fiery sword and so on and we come to the times of Noah, the Nephilim and the flood. What follows after the flood when, when Noah was and the family was rescued, we come to the Abrahamic period and the Abrahamic covenant. This is when God has chosen his people, the Jews the ever having period and the covenant, followed by David, the first king, followed by the temple, the first temple, followed by the end of the Old Testament period, the first temple was destroyed, the second temple, and we know Jesus was born Heaven opens, we have the baptism, the power to Jesus. Jesus starts his ministry. We come then to the second temple, where Jesus was in, the, in this temple, the second temple where Jesus was preaching and teaching. Then we come to Jesus' ascension after, his, after the cross, the death and resurrection, 40 days on earth, we come to Jesus' ascension. Then we will have the first Christian assemblies, this, the churches of the book of Acts, our pattern that we have to restore right now. I tell you later why. All these people had everything in common. They were together in love, unity and support. They shared resources. They supported one another and they lifted up the needy. Then what follows the first Christian assemblies and the first Christian belief that have, uh, were created within in the world the persecution of Christians through the Romans, especially Sunero followed. Then we see afterwards the, sect, the acceptance of the Christian belief and the creation of the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church was created, but unfortunately over time it came to a perversion in the Catholic Church. And there is a huge, huge difference between the first Christian assemblies and the end of the Catholic Church or the height at the Catholic Church when they were most in power. The Catholic Church was only about manipulation, conversion by force, about uh, power struggles and about many, many, many sins that were, that were done by the, by the Catholic Church. So we are then now in the time period coming to the year 1054 AD. 1054 AD is the tipping point. 
Why? What happened in 1054 AD? It is a schism of the church. A schism between the Catholic Church and the Orthodox Church. So now we are in the end times. Now we are going back to the future. Now it's the time when everything started. The start of the Orthodox Church. Then came later the Reformations and the start of the Protestant Church. So we are coming to a, a better way. Coming out of the perversion of the Catholic Church to a better way. However, there is also a perversion that happened in current churches. Through tolerance, the burning, the holiness and the fire of tolerance and to many other things that happened. We all know about it. Now, since we are in the perversion of the current churches right now, the next will then be in the timeline the restoration of first Christian assemblies again, the house churches. And that is our point where we are right now in the end times. We are now in the sealed tribulation period and it is a requirement that we restore the altar to its former glory. If you see here, what I have drawn here, this arrows, there is, now when you look on this side about Nero and the first Christian assemblies, here was the first Christian assemblies first and then Nero came, the, the pattern to Antichrist and the persecution of Christians. But in the, in, in the end times it will be vice versa. First will be the restoration of the Christian assemblies, the house churches, and then the Antichrist and the persecution of Christians will come. I hope you understand that it's a different way now. It is vice versa. So we are now here in the restoration of the first Christian assemblies, the house churches. This is what the Triple Grace is about. This is what the Great Exodus is about. This is the separation between the goats and the sheep. This is how Jesus want his true church to be, how the true church was at Jesus' time. It was the restoration of the first Christian assemblies will come, where we have all in one accord, where we come together in love, unity and support, and where we have house churches and where we spread boldly the gospel of the kingdom. This is the time where we are right now in starting this year. This is the time. And the sealed tribulation has started, and now we are coming to the point where the Antichrist will receive strong power within the next three, three and a half years. Antichrist will pop up and he will be a strong world leader. That's the reason why we say you have to come out of the world and out of Babylon because the Antichrist will take over the world and a great persecution of Christians will take place. You see, the persecution of Christians were on the left side here with Nero, but now it's, it's opposite on that side down here and the first Christian were here and now the first Christian assemblies are here. So first the establishment of the house churches, the Christian assemblies. Second, Antichrist will come, persecution of Christians will take place. And then when that happened, at the sixth seal, Jesus appears on Mount Zion. That is then the next step. And he will punish the Antichrist. Most likely a death wound will come from that time period of the Antichrist at this time. Jesus will come down on the sixth seal with Mount Zion and he will rapture us into paradise. Then the temple will be built. You see these are patterns. Temple will be built. The temple will be built. When Jesus appears on Mount Zion, the trumpet period will start. The temple will be built in the first three and a half years of the trumpet period. Then after three and a half years, Jesus will be cut off. You see here, Jesus' ascension, cut off. Jesus start ministry, Jesus appears on Mount Zion. You see, the, it's vice versa. Jesus will be cut off after three and a half years. He will go with Mount Zion with all his people that he has ruptured to an unknown place. Nobody knows. Could be Basra, could be something in Iran, could be something that pointing to this, that there will be a place where nobody can come, but Mount Zion, Jesus and the raptured people will be there waiting because Satan was thrown out of heaven and has to have his three and a half years as it is written in Revelation. So that's the reason why Jesus has to be cut off. He is not cut off by himself, but he was cut off because Satan has to get his time so that he get punished. Otherwise, if he has no time, he cannot get punished. 
So the time must come for Satan. And Jesus at that time will be in an unknown place. The same here, what we have on the left side, the place of Jesus unknown, the birth of Jesus. You see? After that time period, when Satan has that power, then Jesus comes now back in power on the Mount of Olives, feet down on the Mount of Olives. And then we have the start, Satan will be bound in the abyss, and uh, we have the start of the millennium. There we also have again the time of David, because Jesus is the King of David, the King David. He will come now and sit in his holy city as a king. He is a descendant of David. And there we will have a, the temple now again, where Jesus will sit in. Another temple where Jesus will sit in. I'm not even sure it is not the same temple that that Satan was sitting in, but a different temple. Then we'll have the end millennium period, the end of the 1000 years. After the 1000 years, Satan will be released. And most likely the Nephilim will be released with him together. And there will be a great, great final uh, Gok and Barok war coming, where now God the Father and Jesus and the Holy Spirit will be successful and destroy Satan forever and ever. And it comes to the White Throne Judgment, the Abrahamic Covenant, judging the nations, everything is said there in the Abrahamic Covenant, that the people who are the descendants will judge the nations. So a judgment will take place at the White Throne Judgment. You can all read this one in the book of Revelation. Then we have new heaven and new earth, a new creation. This is the same like here, but vice versa. First the creation, and then we reach paradise, eternal life. You see, I know in the beginning it's difficult to understand, so so look at it again and again and, and again and look at the drawings and the image and see how you can un have an understanding. If you have questions, send them to me at triplegrace55 at gmail.com. We started at creation and we will end at paradise. The left the left side is going forward to the tipping point and then the right side is down here is the end time period starting with the orthodox church protestant church going over and now we are at this point the restoration of the first christian example the house churches this is what what we are about this is a great exodus this is the coming out of the world this is the separation of the sheep and the goat. This is the judgment of the house of the Lord first, and then the Antichrist will come, and then the persecution will come, and then Jesus will appear on Mount Zion at the sixth seal, and we will be ruptured into paradise. I hope this image gives you an idea what it's all about and why everything is about paradise, because it started with paradise and it will end with paradise. So it is all about the perfect way that the Lord wants to stay with us together. As he has done with Adam and Eve in paradise back in the time after the creation, now this has to be restored. And this is the restoration of all things. A restoration, things that were there before, will be restored again in the end time period. There is nothing new under the sun. It will come back. Nero is a type for Antichrist. Antichrist will come. First Christian Assembly, the restoration of the First Christian Assembly is taking place right now. Jesus will start his ministry. Yes, he will come on Mount Zion and will build the temple. And then Jesus will be cut off like the ascension. And everything was what before will come again. Only vice versa. On the way back to paradise. It's all about paradise. And that's the reason why I called this image Back to the Future because it is the future, but it is also the restoration of all things. Things that already happened will come again. I hope you understand what, I, I, what I'm talking about, and I hope that you can hear it, because I see already there's a problem in my, in my turning on. I hope that you can understand, and I hope that you will that you will uh, send me your questions so that 
so that uh, you can get more clarification. It's a difficult topic, I know, but it's all about the restoration of all things. And we know that Elijah will come to restore all things and that the Lord will sit next to the Father in heaven until the restoration has taken place. And we are now in the restoration period, so we can, can see that the Lord Jesus will come any time now because we are in that time and we have to establish the home churches. We have to restore the altar to its former glory. And this is what we will do in this year 2020. 20 and 20 is 40. This is the time of the ascension. This is the time of Jesus in the new body, on the new level. And we have to reach that level right now. And it's also the four. What is Dalet? The open door. The, the Red Sea is opening right now and we will walk through it. Thank you that you have listened to this topic today. 